11, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is x to the power of 6. This is equal to 7 to the power of 6. So what are the values of x? Now let's provide a solution here. We have x to the power of 6. This is equal to 7 to the power of 6. The first step is to take 7 to the power of 6 on the left hand side so that we have x to the power of 6 subtract 7 to the power of 6 this is equal to 0. We can express x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 7 to the power of 6 which is 7 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2 this is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a squared minus b squared which we can express as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Now applying this property then we have we have that a is equal to x to the power of 3 b is equal to 7 to the power of 3. So a plus b equal to 0 this is the same thing as x to the power of 3 plus 7 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this case 1. And we have that a subtract b equal to 0. This is the same thing as x to the power of 3 minus 7 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. Let's call this case 2. Let's start with case 1 from here. In case 1, we have x to the power of 3 plus 7 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. This equation here is of the form a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which is the sum of two cubes that you can express as a plus b. Into the parentheses, this is a squared minus a times b, then plus b to the power of 2. Applying this property, then we have x plus 7 into the parentheses this is x squared minus 7x then plus 7 squared this is equal to 49 this is equal to 0 so here we have got two parts here the first part is x plus 7 this is equal to 0 the second part here is x squared minus 7x plus 49 this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that x1 is equal to minus 7. And on the second part here, this is a quadratic equation where we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 7, and c is equal to 49. Now, we can solve for x2, comma x3 by applying the quadratic formula here, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4bc, everything here divided by 2 times a. Now substituting the values of a, b, and c in this formula, then we have minus minus 7 plus or minus, we have the square root of minus 7 squared, subtract 4 times a which is 1, then times c which is 40, nine everything here divided by two times one so here we have minus times minus seven this is seven plus or minus we have the square root of minus seven squared this is 49 subtract nine times four here this is 36 so we have six carry three then four times four this is equal to 16 plus three this is 196 everything here divided by 2. Now here we have 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 196. This is minus 147. Everything here divided by 2. So we have 7 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus 147. This is the same thing as 49 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So this means that we have 7 plus or minus 
the square root of 49 this is 7 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so this means that here we have got two complex solutions we have got two complex solutions that is x2 comma x3 and this implies that x2 is equal to 7 plus 7i square root of 3 divided by 2 and we have that x3 this is 7 subtract 7i square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so let's proceed to case 2 let's proceed to case 2 in case 2 we have x to the power of 3 subtract 7 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 this equation here is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 which we can express as a minus b a squared plus a times b then plus b to the power of 2 applying this identity then we have x minus 7 here we have x squared plus 7x then plus 7 squared which is 49 this is equal to 0 so this means we have got two parts here the first part is x minus 7 this is equal to 0 and the second part is a quadratic equation which is x squared plus 7x plus 49 this is equal to 0 so we have that x4 is equal to 7 from this quadratic equation we have a is equal to 1 b is equal to 7 and c is equal to 49 so we can solve for x5 comma x6 by applying the quadratic formula here which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac everything here divided by 2 times a so substituting the values of a b and c here we have minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 49 everything here divided by 2 times 1 now we have x5 comma x6 this is equal to minus 7 plus or minus this is the square root of 7 squared this is 49 minus 49 times 4 this is 196 everything here divided by 2 so here we have minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 196 this is minus 147 divided by 2 so that we have minus 7 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 147 this is the same thing as 49 multiplied by 3 multiplied by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so that we have minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 this is 7 the square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 2 so we have x5 this is equal to minus 7 plus 7i square root of 3 divided by 2 we have that x6 this is equal to minus 7 subtract 7i square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so these are two complex solutions and this totals to six solutions for this math problem so we have four complex solutions and only two real solutions so kind of follow the steps like this video and country subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now